One concept beyond ERA is a futuristic electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft concept designed to redefine personal air mobility. Developed by the Italian design studio One Concept, the Beyond Era blends cutting-edge aviation technology with automotive elegance. It features a sleek, aerodynamic carbon fiber fuselage with a glass canopy and a compact wing structure that supports multiple electric duct fans, allowing for both vertical lift and forward flight. Its design suggests a focus on luxury and minimalism, with a two to four seat configuration aimed at urban commuters or private users. The Beyond Era promises zero emission flight, high levels of automation, possibly fully autonomous capabilities, and a quiet propulsion system suitable for city environments. The B-2 Spirit, also known as the Stealth Bomber, is one of the most advanced and recognizable military aircraft in the world. Developed by Northrop Grumman for the United States Air Force, the B-2 was designed primarily for stealth and long-range strategic bombing missions. Its unique flying wing design minimizes radar visibility, allowing it to penetrate dense anti-aircraft defenses and deliver both conventional and nuclear payloads with precision. First flown in 1989 and introduced in 1997, the B-2 Spirit can carry up to 40,000 pounds of ordnance and has an intercontinental range of over 11,000 kilometers, with mid-air refueling. Its surface is coated with radar-absorbing materials, and its engines are hidden deep within the fuselage to reduce infrared and acoustic signatures. Only 21 B-2s were built due to the aircraft's high cost, each estimated at over $2 billion. The Altavolo Sigma is an innovative hybrid electric personal EVTOL aircraft designed for quiet, high-speed, long-range travel. Created by London-based startup Altavolo, the Sigma seats up to three people and combines electric vertical takeoff and landing with a fuel-based generator for efficient forward flight. It boasts a top speed of nearly 290 miles per hour and a hybrid range of up to 500 miles, making it ideal for regional travel without the need for runways or large infrastructure. Compact enough to fit in a double garage or yacht deck, the Sigma features a tilting jet propulsion system, low noise operation, around 65 dB, and multiple safety redundancies, including a ballistic parachute. With a sleek, aerodynamic design and advanced autopilot system from invention, the aircraft targets private owners seeking freedom from traditional transport constraints. The Honda Jet Elite 2 is a refined and advanced version of Honda's successful very light jet, offering improved range, performance, and luxury. With a maximum range of 1,547 nautical miles and a top cruise speed of 422 knots, the Elite 2 is designed for efficient business or personal travel. It features a sleek, aerodynamic design with over-the-wing engine mounts and natural laminar flow wings, reducing drag and enhancing fuel efficiency. The jet's interior is crafted for comfort, featuring executive seating, a fully enclosed lavatory with skylight, herringbone wood floors, and advanced acoustic insulation. Safety is a priority, with Garmin G3000 avionics, auto throttle, stabilized approach assistance, and Garmin's emergency auto land system. Certified for single pilot operation, the Elite 2 includes automated systems for pressurization, lighting, and anti-icing. The Avro Vulcan nicknamed Spirit of Great Britain, is the last airworthy example of the iconic Cold War era Vulcan B.2 strategic bomber. First taking flight in May 1960, it served with the RAF in roles ranging from nuclear deterrent work to maritime reconnaissance and air-to-air -air refueling, before entering display service in the mid-1980s. After retirement from the RAF in 1984, XH-558 was rescued from scrappage, purchased by enthusiasts, and restored to flight by the Vulcan to the Sky Trust in 2007.
a project funded by public donations and grants totaling around 6.5 million pounds everything. Over eight years, it thrilled crowds across the UK with its majestic delta wing silhouette and thunderous Olympus engines until its final flight in October 2015, after which it was grounded due to withdrawn technical support. The Jetson 1 is a groundbreaking single-seat ultralight EVTOL, basically a flying Formula One car for the skies. Developed by Swedish startup Jetson, formerly Jetson Aero, it features a lightweight aluminum carbon Kevlar space frame, eight electric motors, and intuitive joystick controls that allow users to pilot the aircraft with minimal training, often just five hours, without needing a pilot's license in the U.S. Safety is a core focus. The craft includes a race car inspired safety cell with crush zones, propulsion redundancy capable of sustaining flight despite a failed motor, triple redundant flight computers, LiDAR assisted auto hover and auto landing, propeller guards, and a ballistic parachute. A production ready unit, the SN1, completed its first test flight in Italy in March 2025, hovering hands-free and executing routine maneuvers, affirming its readiness for deliveries in 2026. The Anavia HT-100 is a Swiss-developed, long-endurance unmanned VTOL helicopter built to perform high-endurance surveillance, logistics, and tactical support missions efficiently and reliably. Featuring dual intermeshing Flettner rotors and a compact 15 kilowatts turbine engine, it can carry up to 60 to 65 kilograms payloads for up to six hours and cover roughly 600 kilometers, consuming only 9L of Jet A fuel. With a carbon composite airframe, a 200 kilometers encrypted data link, including LTE and SATCOM, full autonomous takeoff and landing, and a flight control system with quad redundant actuators, it delivers precision, resilience, and ease of integration with sensors or cargo modules. The Auto Solera Phantom 3500 is a revolutionary clean sheet business jet by American startup Auto Aviation, leveraging its groundbreaking Solera 500L laminar flow technology to deliver superior speed, efficiency, and cabin comfort. With its iconic teardrop fuselage and windowless design, the Phantom achieves transonic cruise at 51,000 foot while burning 50 to 60% less fuel than comparable mid sized jets thanks to ultra-low drag and advanced aerodynamic engineering. Powered by twin Williams FJ44 turbofans, the jet offers intercontinental range up to 3,700 nanometers, almost equal 6,850 km, and a spacious, stand-up cabin nearly twice the volume of typical light jets, accommodating up to nine passengers in a six feet five inches tall cabin. After over a decade of refining laminar flow aerodynamics through the Solera 500L demonstrator, Otto is now assembling critical components, Williams engines, Leonardo and Meeker built composite fuselage and landing gear for the first flight planned in 2027, aiming for FAA Part 23 certification and service entry by 2030.